overtime and Portugal just scored a goal in the second half of overtime. They just scored a goal 1-0. about eight o'clock in the morning I'm getting my day started I probably got like four hours of sleep because my lovely husband will not stop snoring um, he's currently in the shower getting ready to head out for the day it's Saturday today but he's actually covering a camp he's an athletic trainer and he's actually gonna go cover a camp over at the university today is a tidying day <laughs> a few candles I think it just I, I like to get the smell of the cleaning products out of the air and I like to light a few candles this is my candle of choice right now Ashland lilac mist and I'm almost done I have about two of these uh, I think I have two total I had a bunch but I have two left and I'm going to light them so that my house doesn't smell like cleaning products so I'm watching the Portugal versus Croatia game right now and it's overtime um it's overtime and portugal just scored a goal in the second half of overtime they just scored a goal 1-0 i'm so excited i just knocked down my house practically <laughs> practically practically knocked down my house screaming <laughs> i was so excited oh my god it was beautiful oh so excited just wanted to share that in honor of Portugal winning their Euro match, I'm going to cook a nice Portuguese dinner. We've got salted cod, and I'm boiling some water to make with some boiled potatoes, and we will add some eggs in there as well, boiled eggs. And it's very easy you just mash it all up together and put a little oil and vinegar 
and you eat it just like that. It's delicious. Okay, so finished cooking. Here is the finished product. Potatoes, codfish, and eggs. <clears throat> All you do is you take that, you add some vinegar, you add some olive oil. Uh, very classic Portuguese dish. It's called bacalhau cozido. Thank you.